Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance to Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I'm going to be sharing an article that I wrote several days ago. I read my articles through this video format to help individuals to learn better through watching and listening. In my experience, I have found that individuals learn better through reading, some individuals learn better through reading, and some individuals learn better through watching and listening. To read the article, I'll pull my glasses back on my face and bring up the article. Thank you again for being here. I always enjoy having you at my table, and I look forward to hearing from you, my friend. Here's the article, Behind Prison Doors, Blocks to Acceptance. Hello and welcome back to Second Chance to Live, my friend. Several years ago, I wrote an article by the title, Behind Prison Doors. In keeping with my recent articles on the topic of acceptance, I wanted to share what I found to be a block or blocks to my ability to accept what has transpired in my life, what I perceive other people have done to me, my discouragements and disappointments, and what does not seem to make sense to me. In the below version of the article behind prison doors I have made some modifications to add accent or bring out what I think is real important. As you read the article and questions come to mind please ask. Again I love to hear from you and all questions are good questions. Here's the article behind prison doors. Hello and welcome back to Second Chance to Live. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to visit with me. Recently, I read a quote that I thought was excellent. I want to share that quote with you. Forgiveness is unlocking the door that is uh, to set someone free and realizing you were the prisoner. Again, forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing that you were the prisoner. And that's by Max Licato. This quote is rich with awareness. Although I may believe and feel justified in my anger or resentment, I am the one who suffers the consequences. By choosing not to forgive, I place myself behind prison doors. I have also heard that holding on to unforgiveness and resentment in my heart toward other people is likened to drinking poison while hoping the other person dies. And another quote that I like, holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. And that's by Buddha. Many years ago, I listened to a speaker share how some monkeys are trapped in Africa. Apparently, bamboo cages are built with rungs of bamboo that are uh, spaced with small gaps. The spacing allows for the monkey to reach into the cage, or slide his hand into the cage to reach to the piece of fruit, but the spacing does not allow the monkey to remove the fruit. Because the monkey's focus is on the bait, the cage traps the monkey. In the monkey's determination to hold on to the fruit or bait, the monkey does not recognize what they will not let go of. What they will not let go of is keeping them trapped. And today's thought. The above three illustrations remind me that I can make changes to release myself from my self-imposed prison. I can choose to do the work to let go of my resentment. I can choose to do the work to let go of my unrealistic expectations. I can choose to not drink the poison of bitterness. I can choose to let go of the bait of justification that keeps me trapped in a cage. I can choose to do the work to forgive and be free. I want to thank you for stopping by to watch this video presentation today. I look forward to future video presentations. Again, let me encourage you as I need to encourage myself. Do not give up on yourself, a loving God of your process, because more is going to be revealed with time. I found that to be the case, and I continue to believe that that will occur as time moves on. I'll say it's long for now. Thank you again. God bless both you and your family, and have a wonderful day. Bye now.